Chat room log transcribed by Name expunged On Date expunged Screen names presumably substituted by account holders' real names for easier reference. Whether incident described was real or fabricated cannot be determined, as transcriber has vanished without a trace. John has joined the chat room. Matt has joined the chat room. Hey. Hola. <laughs> what the crap was Sabatini talking about Tuesday? I wasn't in class Tuesday. About the futurists? I was sick. Oh, you were ditching. No, I was sick. Swear to God, came down with a cold or something. Whatever, ditcher. Hola, Jimmy. Nice to see you too, fuck. Hola! Jimmy's idol again. I hate how he does that. Just logs in and walks away. Or he's token up. <laughs> What's your deal with Sabatini's class? The Futurist Manifestos. Supposed to have read them, but I didn't make any sense of them. Something about cars and graveyards and shit. You know how he just throws the material at us and expects us to learn like we got mind reading powers. What you put into his classes is what you take out of it. He expects each of us to decide what's significant about the material. Shit, I could have just not signed up for the class and bought the book and read it myself on my own time then. Hey bro, I gotta skate, I'll see you later. Okay, later. See ya, Jimmy. Matt has left the chat room. Jimmy is no longer idle. John, you there? Yeah. The neighborhood is gone. Jimmy, how come you don't answer my calls? What? The neighborhood is gone. I don't follow you. Something's wrong. Can you see outside your windows? What have you been smoking, Jimmy? Can you see outside your windows? Yeah. What do you see? Streetlights. Jimmy, what's your problem? I don't see streetlights. I don't see anything. It's just black. The neighborhood's gone. Jimmy, if you're tripping again, I'm coming over there to beat your ass. I'm serious. I'm not tripping, I swear. Everything is just gone. The lights on your street probably just burnt out. Jimmy is idle. You still there? John has left the chat room. John has joined the chat room. Jimmy, how are you today? Everything alright? Jimmy, talk to me, buddy. You feeling okay? Jimmy is no longer idle. There's nothing outside. Jimmy, do you want me to come over? No, don't come over. Stay there. Jimmy, what the fuck, man? What's going on over there? Jimmy is idle. I'm getting tired of this, Jimmy. Grow up. Matt has joined the chat room. Hola. Hola, Jimmy. Jimmy, you ain't been at school in three days. Spring break isn't for another month, yo. Jimmy is no longer idle. Matt, can you see outside your windows? Yeah, I see ladies dancing. They're calling your name, Jimmy. They want you. I can't see anything. It's pitch black outside my house. For real? The neighborhood is gone. I don't know where I am. <laughs> what? Jesus, is he still going on about that? What is he talking about, John? He's being an asshole. He was babbling about it yesterday, too. Haha, <laughs> Jimmy, what are you on, man? You take your meds? I'm not on anything. Jimmy, I'm coming over. I'm fucking scared, and all you guys do is give me shit. No, I told you not to come over. John has left the chat room. John has joined the chat room. When was you scratching the window a minute ago? Welcome to the Twilight Zone, John. <laughs> Christ, Jimmy, what happened? You're missing out on some crazy shit. What happened to your house, Jimmy? What's up with this house? Did you go to my house, John? It isn't there. Just the foundation. I told you to stay away! Jimmy, what happened? John, are you serious? There's movement outside now. I can't see anything, but I can hear things. I hear people talking outside real quiet. I'm scared to go near the windows. Jimmy, when did this happen? Did you see Davin Kelly's painting? Yeah, I think so. The scary one, right? He invited me over a couple times as a critic. He painted about a dozen of them and wanted to know which one was the scariest. I pointed to that one with the twisted face like a nightmare peeking out of the dark and told him it was like looking at a bad dream. Matt is idle. And I dreamt about the thing in his painting that night. It wore a shadow like a cloak, and the face was distorted like something laying at the bottom of a pool when the waves haven't settled. Just 
stood staring at me. Damn. Davin called me over again, and when I got there, he had all these new paintings. All worse than the one I picked before. I never saw anything so horrible. That bad, huh? No, no, no. Not poorly done, horrible. Never want to see again, horrible. You should have seen them. They were almost alive. I saw the thing in my sleep again, and there were others. They all stared at me like I was interrupting something, and I couldn't make out their faces enough to see their eyes. But Davin said, you're not supposed to look at them in the eyes because you'll freeze up, and that's how they'll get to you. Davin saw how bad they made my skin crawl, and he just smiled. I haven't seen Davin around campus. Did he lock himself in his studio? And after class one day, he told me the things were from his dreams. He used to dream about them as a kid, and they used to scare him, and then one day he stopped seeing them. But he started painting them, and somehow they came back. He said he could make them appear in his dreams more vividly the more he painted them. He had this theory that when we sleep, we see glimpses of other worlds, and it might be possible to bring part of those worlds into ours. Devin told me that sometimes the paintings would show a twitch of movement or change slightly when he looked away. Or he'd be walking past the studio door and hear his name being whispered in there. He said it scared him at first, but he got used to it after a while and he figured he was progressing. He was crazy. I think he wanted to meet one of them in person. Is he there with you? No, he's gone and I'm next. He called me over for one lax critique. He said it was really important to him and I didn't believe the shit he said before about the paintings moving. I didn't believe him. I thought he was just nuts, but we were pals and I wanted to help. Jimmy is idle. Jimmy, you still there? Jimmy is no longer idle. Davin opened the door and smiled like everything was normal. All the lights were out in his house and I started to ask him why, but that's when I saw the shadows. They moved like there was people swimming in them. He invited me in, but I turned and ran. That was last weekend, and this Monday, I woke up thinking it was the middle of the night, but it was one in the afternoon, and I couldn't see outside. Jimmy is idle. Matt is no longer idle. Jesus, man, you weren't kidding. Jimmy, you got some weird crap happening in your neighborhood. Did you see his house, Matt? No, man, nothing there to see. Like someone just picked it up and carried it off. What'd I miss? Scroll up and see for yourself. Jimmy, try calling me on your phone. Jimmy, you there? Wow, what do you make of all this? Well, I can't say he's tripping on anything because that doesn't explain the missing house. Keep him company for a while. I want to see if it's the same at Davin's place. Okay. Jimmy, you still there? John has left the chat room. John has joined the chat room. It's the same at Davin's place. There's nothing there. Jimmy, you holding together? Matt, you still there? Matt, don't fuck around, I mean it. Jimmy is no longer idle. God damn it! I told you not to come over here! Why won't you listen to me? Jimmy, calm down. Did you think I was fucking kidding? I told you to stay there! They came for me because I went to Davin's place. They get your scent and they come for you like when sharks smell blood! Jimmy, have you been talking to Matt? Did you try calling my phone? Somebody please talk to me. Jimmy is idle. Matt is no longer idle. John, John, are you awake? Matt, what's up? Where did you go? Nowhere, John. Matt, what's the matter? Drew came over. I was talking about the situation and Jimmy was quiet for a long time. It, it got Drew, John. What got Drew? I don't know what it was. It got dark outside all of a sudden and Drew wanted to step outside to get a better look. We thought it was an eclipse. He opened the front door and there was nothing but blackness on the other side, like the bottom of the ocean. Is he okay? This thing just appeared all of a sudden and stared him right in the eye like a snake. I don't know what it was, but it was pale and gnarled and it was smiling and Drew just froze and just stood there staring at it and before I knew what was happening, the blackness just slurped him up. I flung the door closed as fast as I could. Jesus. Matt is idle. Matt is no longer idle. I don't know what to do. We're out there right now looking for a way inside. They're smiling at me through the windows, John. I don't know what to do. Matt is idle. Jimmy has left the chat room. Matt is no longer idle. I think Jimmy's gone, John. Shit. Something weird is going on over here. Hang in there, Matt. 
I'm gonna haul my laptop out to my car, so I'll be gone for a minute. I gotta get out of here. John has left the chat room. John has joined the chat room. Please, John, it's inside. Back end, in my car, in the campus parking lot. Matt, what was that? Matt, talk to me. Matt is idle. Somebody answer me, please. Matt has left the chat room. Shit, I can't see anything. The headlights don't work at all. Matt, Jimmy, please talk to me. Please, I don't want to look at them. Please, please somebody. Brian has joined the chat room. Hey guys, what's going on here? Anybody home? John has left the chat room.